Peace. This Monroe Jr. I'll be giving my commentary right after this video. Peace. Police is not the judge, jury, and executioner. You know, we have a justice system for that reason. We should be able to, to apprehend people without incident, but we're not able to do that. Peace, peace, peace. This is Monroe Jr. coming back at you with another report. Keevan Robinson was a man, a black man who died during arrest, was uh, asphyxiated. And the death will be investigated as homicide. And, you know, asphyxiation or asphyxiated has to do with, uh, has to do with air. Being somebody being deprived of air, it's like being suffocated or smothered. So those are the symptoms symptoms that the autopsy said Mr. Keevan Robinson died from. And the brother was a 22 year old, and he was arrested in Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office deputies last week. And this came two days after the autopsy was performed on Brother Robinson and the findings are preliminary uh, Jeff Jefferson Paris coroner uh, the uh, the coroner said and the autopsy showed Robin Robinson had injuries to the neck consistent with compressive asphyxia and that's that's suffocation or or uh, smother or stifling uh, it's another word for that uh, uh, that occurs when a person's neck is squeezed from the outside and then Sheriff Joe Lepinto said four narcotics de deputies who were also questioning the connection with Robinson's death have been reassigned to death duty that is not a step the agency always takes in the use of force cases. And uh, Lapentino, he didn't immediately identify the deputies who are all white. And of course, our brother was black. And according to Sheriff's Office, narcotics agents conducting surveillance on our black brother, Mr. Robinson, as part of the drug dealing investigation, followed him to a gas station at Labar Place in Jefferson Highway during the late morning Thursday. And then Brother Robinson tried to drive away when he noticed the agents with the badges and in plain clothes approaching on foot, the sheriff's office has said. Excuse me. But uh, our brother person reports bailed out of his car about a block away after cr crashing into two sheriff's office vehicles deputies chased robinson on foot as he left left oh leaped over a number of fences and caught him in a backyard of a home they fought and then it's the report says they followed robinson who was in possession of what deputies suspected was heroin before they managed to handcuff him and Lapentino said Robinson did not have a gun on him during the struggle, although he had one in the car. Say paramedics took Robinson to the hospital, uh, a medical center a few blocks away, but he died. Lapentino says investigators were trying to determine whether Robinson's history of asthma had contributed to his death. death. So you already know a uh, family in a situation where there's no body camera, no evidence, Ain't no telling what these white boys did to that young man. You know, we see it every day on on, on footage that's actually being recorded. You know, so uh, and, and they know that. They, I mean, hell, you know, if you ain't being recorded, you going they gonna be their fullest devil self. And they was undercover with it too. 
Oh man, I feel sorry for the young brother. You know? Uh, but uh, the scripture says that our creator would take the blood from Abel to Zacharias and plus place it on one generation. So even though they're doing all this wickedness, even if it doesn't arrive at that do at their door, it might arrive at their children's door or their children's children's door. Somebody got to pay for all of this evil and wickedness that white people are doing to black people. Don't think <laughs> that <laughs> that karmic energy is not going to come back and get at you. Oh yeah, it's on the way back as we speak. So uh, yeah, this is a report of our brother Keevan Robinson. May God uh bless his family may god be a shelter for his family may he reduce the pain that they're going through this is brother morrow jr i'm signing off peace